Hello, this video will cover the steps needed for an instructor to set up a third party exam to be proctored online using Canvas and the plugin Proctorio. So now it's time to set up Proctorio for your test. So the first step you will select the quiz. So even if it's not visible, you're going to create a new quiz. Click on the Add Quiz button and enter the title. And then next, you'll enter in the minutes allowed for the exam in Canvas. And since this is the final, I'm going to go ahead and put click on Time Limit. And this time limit should be the exact same limit that you've set your third party software then click on quiz instructions and enter the instructions to the students see below to cut and paste and adjust accordingly this statement was provided um, courtesy of my colleague that walked me through the steps for this video. So you're just going to do control C and control D to paste. And this will be the instructions to the students. I'm going to go ahead and take out those quotes. Basically tells them what to do. Make sure you're using Google Chrome as your browser. Allow 110 minutes to take the exam. A web camera is required to take the exam. You must have a photo ID to take the exam. Make sure your entire face is showing in the video at all times. Please do your work with your face directly showing. If you're using a calculator, please hold it up so it can be seen at the beginning of the exam. Your microphone also has audio for some computers, must be running at all times. No other computer can be open or other websites open. You can use Excel spreadsheet and notes, and you can actually put in an textbook. And again, adjust as uh, needed based on your requirements. Any help given during the exam will be considered a violation of honesty. If you stop the webcam, it will close your exam. Nation. And then the final part says find question one and click the final exam link. So again, adjust this according to what you need. Once that's done, you're going to come out of that box. And those are the instructions to the student. Now it's time to select the Proctorio tab. And that is towards the top. So we have details, questions. Click on Proctorial Settings, and you'll see that I need to make sure I enable Proctorial Secure Exam, and click on Proctorial Settings. And now, because I've enabled it, you will have Saved Profiles, Proctorial Exam Settings, and this is what I'm going to be looking at. I want to record the video. You'll notice that a light blue appears when the option is enabled. I wanted to also record audio and I wanted to record the screen. So each student is going to have their video, audio, and screen recorded. And then also I want to select this option to make sure that I'm going to record rich, um, the web traffic so if they try to visit additional sites. And then record room. Um, will require that the test taker to show their entire test environment. This is if you want them to take their cam and look around the room. I really don't need to see all that. But if that's what you want, you can also select that option. But make sure you include or adjust your directions accordingly. Now, the next options that I'm going to look at, lockdown options. Um, force full screen. I kind of stay away from that, especially using McGraw Hill. Um, I don't want to force them into a um, full screen setting um, so that it means that they possibly could have items on their desktop that's actually seen, but I'm not going to worry about that. Only one screen, so I select that because some people have dual monitors and are very tech savvy. I just want them to have one screen. That's all they need for the test. 
in quiz links only. Um, I select that and just in case I'm requiring um, tables or some other item that will release another tab in my third party software. So I'm going to increase links only. Um, close open tabs. Um, you can select this one, which I do not want them working. Um, other tabs, unless they are part of the quiz itself. Disable printing. I don't want them to print. And disable clipboard. I don't want them to co copy and paste anything to the clipboard. And then um, clear cache. I want that selected. Disable right click. Right click is a feature that allows people to copy or paste or do other features such as printing on some computers. So I'm going to disable that. I'm going to deselect the prevent re-entry because of the settings I have on the third party software. They do need to complete the exam in one sitting. Verification options. I'm going to use the video and the audio to verify. Um, well, I'm going to go ahead and use this since it's the first time that um, we're doing it. So I want to make sure that it's working properly. And I, I would do this if I had a midterm, whenever the first exam is, I would um, just go ahead and select the verify um, desktop. So now it's blue. And then down here, um, auto ID check. This is where I want the student to show their photo identification with a picture. They're going to have to put it directly up to the screen. And verification of signature. I don't have student signatures on file, so I won't use this off option. And this is not necessary. So these are the options that I would be using. And then in quiz tools, I can um, select the calculator because we use, I allow them to use basic calculator only. Um, not the scientific the business calculator. So I'm going to go ahead and select basic and then whiteboard. They have no need to use that. And I'm pretty much done with all my settings. So you can play around with this and decide what settings you want. And then if you would like to reuse these settings in the future, you can save them in a new profile. So I'm going to create a new profile and I'm going to call this my I'm going to call it examination. So I'm going to use it for all of my examinations. This will be my default profile, so I select, and I'm going to go ahead and click on save. Now I'm not done, so I'm going to go back into edit. Edit the quiz. And I probably should have done this before I saved all of my profile settings, but it doesn't matter. You can go back and you can update it. So once you've done that, you're going to scroll up to look for that proctorial settings tab. You're going to click on that. And then you're going to scroll down to proctorial exam settings and click on the drop down and look for the verify options. So we got verification options and we're going to select the verify login. So you're going to click on that. And basically this setting can be used to proctor an external assessment. Be sure to include a link to the assessment within an exam question. And so we're going to do create an essay exam question with the password. Use that password provided below to prevent unproctored access. The benefit of this is to prevent students from going directly to the third party learning management system and bypassing the requirement to activate the proctorial. So this requires them to actually go through Canvas before they take the exam and make sure they show their, you know, credentials and so forth. So we're going to go ahead and show password. So that's what the password looks like, what the student is going to um, enter. It is case sensitive. So copy that password. And you're going to scroll down um, on your screen. And you're going to um, see the accept. You're going to click on accept. And now the verified login box is blue. And keep in mind that that password is on the clipboard. We're going to go back up and we're going to select the questions tab. And we are going to add a new question. The question 
where you put in the password. So we want to make sure that this is an essay question. And you're going to have a password. And this is where you're going to use the control V key to paste the password that we've just selected. And I probably should use a colon. Make sure you use the exact same password in the um, third party exam assignment. So that means you have to go into, if you're using Connect, you're using Wally Plus, whatever um, LMS you're using, you want to make sure you use this for the password in the actual um, test in the third party software. And then you're going to actually write the title of the exam that the student is um, taking. So whatever your um, title was in the assignment that you created in um, the Connect or the Wiley Plus, you're going to use that final exam 2019. And then you're going to create a link. So you're going to highlight the title. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to the left hand side of your screen or at the bottom, depending upon what your settings are. And you're going to look for links. And I know the assignment I have is under assignments and I'm going to scroll down until I find the name of the exam. Got a lot of assignments, so it's, it might take a while depending upon how you have it listed and I have them alphabetically. So you'll see that I have a final exam, a final exam, fall 2019. The one in parentheses is the proctorial and the one I'm manually creating, but the final exam, fall 2019, is the actual assignment on the third party software. So I'm going to use that as my link. So after you did your hypertext link to the external exam to the third party website, you want to make sure that it's going to launch it into a new window. So what you're going to do is highlight the link again, and you're going to use the hotkeys control, hold it down K, and the insert link box should appear. Now again, you need to be in edit mode when we were creating the, the test question, quiz question. And then you're going to select target drop down box new window because you want their exam to launch in a new window this is the title of the actual assignment and i guess i should make sure that these agree let me go ahead and make that correction now and then okay and it's updating the word for the link and now what will happen is when the student clicks on this it'll launch it into a new window and then you're going to scroll down, update question. And if you scroll back up, you will see the essay question has been created, the password and the link, so that when the student sees the first question, they will click on this information. Now, hopefully, you go back to the details, the students actually read the directions, which will tell them pretty much everything regarding the proctorial process and the use of the password, which you will find in question one. And when you'll tell them, you'll do final exam. Let me make sure I have the right word, fall 2019. So this agrees to the question. And then you are done. So you want to save and publish. After the students take the exam, don't forget to delete the quiz created in the above steps in Canvas. So there is only one grade in Canvas gradebook. After the test is finished, since it was only used to make students use the password and not bypass the proctorial proctoring to the third party site. Very important. Thank you for watching. Please post any comments or suggestions below. And remember, today is a great day to teach online.